Hello everyone, welcome to Form 3 Mathematics, Chapter 5, Trigonometric Ratios. This is the part 5 of the lesson video, which is also the last part of this uh, chapter. And in this video, the first thing we are going to look at is determine the values of sine, cosine and tangent by using a calculator. This part is quite easy, we look at the examples here. Determine the following values correct to 4 decimal places. So now if you are given sine 51 degrees, we can use a calculator to find the values straight away. And notice that the angles can be in the degrees form or degrees and minutes. Okay, so we look at the first one, sine 51 degrees. So we have uh, this calculator here and we want to key in sine. So the sine key is very obvious here. You just press it once and then you get this sine displayed. Sign display on your calculator. And then for 51 degrees, we just key in 51. You don't have to key in the, the units here because the 51 here, this is uh, in units of degree. So you press the uh, equal key, you get the answer which is shown here. And since the question asks for four decimal places, we just take the first four, seven, 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 and one. And we need to round off the values. So and since this is a 4 here, you don't have to add 1 to this value. So the answer is 0 0.7771. Now for cosine, okay, notice that the, the angles here, we have a degrees and minutes. And so when you key in, it's a little bit different. So first you key in the cosine, then you key in 35. So for this time, since it involves minutes, you you need to key in the units for degree as well. So you press this button, which this which will display the degree unit. So we have this, and then we key in 45. And for minutes, we use the same button again. We press this once, and you have 35 degrees and 45 minutes. Huh? So even though it's the same symbol here, but this means minutes. And then you press the equal key you get 0 0.81157 remember it's four decimal place 8115 since this is seven the we need to add one to five so you have 0 0.8116 as your answer we look at another one we have tangent here tangent 67.81 so for this case since it is uh, in degree form we just key in tangent using this button here and we just key in seven six seven point eight one without the units and press the equal button so if you have a calculator with you you may try it now and compare with my answer 2.4516 okay so we're done with the first part we go to the second part calculating the size of an angle by using trigonometric ratios sine cosine and tangent so now previously we already learned that when you are given sine 51 degrees we can find the values by key in uh, the sine 51 degrees in the calculator and so on. If you have this, you key in the calculator, you get this value. So in this part, we are going to learn what if you are now, what if you are now given the values here instead of the angles. Okay? This part, you are given the angles, you just key in, you get the values. But now, you are given the values for the sine, you know, this value here, but without the angles and we want to find the value of the angle okay so how are we going to find this same here if you are given cosine of certain angle theta here represents angles so you are given the values how are we going to find this value that so we go to the example questions okay so use the scientific calculator to find the value of x so the x here is the angles that we are looking for Okay, so we look at uh, question A, sine x equals to 0 0.5467. Okay, so we have our calculators with us. In order to find the value of x for this sine here, we use sine inverse. Okay, so we call this sine inverse of 0 0.5467. Sine x equals to 0 0.5467. When we want to find x, we use sine inverse 0 0.5467 to find the angles. How are we going to key in this in our calculator? First, we need to press the shift button, shift key, and after that, we press the sign key. 
after you create press shift and sign you will get sign inverse Sean so you key in 0 0.5467 you press the equal key you get 33.1409 and so on so this will be the answer so x equals to 33.1409 degrees now this is in the degrees form however if the question asks for the answer in degrees in the units of degrees and minutes you may also press this button after you get the answer immediately after you get the answer you press this okay so after you press it will becomes 33 degrees 8 minutes and 27.28 seconds now uh, this part is seconds degree minute seconds so if the question asks for units in degrees and minutes we have to round off the seconds part since one minute is 60 seconds if the value of the seconds here is below 30 when we round off you don't have to add one to the minute so means since 27.28 is lower than 30 so you have 33 degrees 8 minutes if this value here for the seconds here this second here is 30 or above then we need to add one to the minutes so you can give your answer in either in the degrees form which is or degrees and minutes or in degrees and minutes according to the question now we look at the second one we have now cosine x equals to 0 0.8721 you are given this and you want to find the angles okay so for this case we we write x equals to cosine uh, the inverse cosine of 0 0.8721 we first press shift and then we press the cosine button so you will get this inverse cosine so then we just key in the values 0 0.8721 is the equal key we get 29.2964 and so on so we just write this as our answer however again if you want to write the answers in degrees and minutes we press this immediately after you calculate the answers here and you will get 29 degrees 17 minutes 47.05 seconds so when we round off this since 47 is more than 30 we add 1 to 17 it becomes 29 degrees 18 minutes we go to the last part of this video and also this chapter solving problems involving the trigonometric ratio sine cosine and, and tangent so we have the first example here diagram shows a ladder so this is a ladder leaning against a wall here we have a wall if the height of AC is 3 meter, the height of AC from A to C here is 3 meter. Calculate the length of the ladder. Calculate the length of the ladder. Given that the angles here is 55 degrees. When you have a problem involving right angle triangles, uh, you have to keep in mind that you might have to use Pythagoras theorem or trigonometric ratios, which is sine, cosine, and tangent, especially when the angles are given because the question here you see it does not tells you that you need to use the sine cosine or tangent no so we look at the diagram again and we just fill in the values here given ac is three meters given in the question for those who are new to this i will advise you to redraw the diagram I'll redraw fill in the values a b c 55 degrees and three meters and then you can write down the name of the sites like for example the hypotenuse because this is the longer side which is this angle is given side bc here this side here will be the adjacent side for the, for this angle and side ac will be the opposite side now we look at all the three trigonometric ratios sine cosine and tangent you look at this again the question requires us to find the length of the ladder length of the ladder means we want to find the value of the length of a b we want to find a b we want to find hypotenuse the value of the hypotenuse and you are given the value of the opposite side so means that from this three uh, formula here we we are looking for the one which involves hypotenuse because we want to find the length of a b and also opposite side because we have the value of the opposite side hypotenuse opposite side so we look at this we have hypotenuse and opposite sides for sine 
means we can ignore the cosine and tangent, we just use this formula. And the x here, of course, the angle here will be the 55 degrees. Okay, so now we fill in the values, sine x, x is 55 degrees, opposite side is this, which is the 3 meter, hypotenuse is the, uh, the length that we are looking for, so we just rewrite everything, sine 55 degrees equals to 3, which is the opposite side over the length of ladder, and we just solve it. Okay, we bring length of, length of ladder to the right hand side, the uh, left hand side, we have this, length of ladder multiplies sine 55, and then sine 55 we bring to the left hand side because we want to find the values. Multiply when we bring it becomes divide. So you have 3 divided by sine 55. You use a calculator, just key in all this. 3 divided by sine 55, you get 3.66 meter. Hence the length of the ladder is 3.66 meter. Question number 2. Diagram shows a person, we have a person here, looking at the tip of a flat post. So we have a flat post here. Given the angle of the elevation at the tip of a flat post from the person's eyes is 60 degrees. Angle of elevation, we learned this in form 1. So angle of elevation at the tip of a flat post from the person's eye means at the tip of the flat post from the person's eye, from the eye, from the eyes here, means the 60 degrees is here. This is the 60 degrees angles of elevation. And the horizontal distance between the person and the flag post between oh so uh, there's a mistake here and the flag post is 10 meter means from the eyes to the flag post here the horizontal distance here is 10 meter determine d d is the distance between the person's eyes to the tip of the flag post so it is always better if we fill in all the details here in the diagram when we redraw the triangle which is a right angle triangle. Okay, so angle of elevation, I already told you that is, so it is here, this angle, which is 60 degrees. And the horizontal distance here, from here to here, this is the horizontal distance, which is 10 meter. And we are looking for this length here, the distance between the eye to the eyes to the tip of the flat post D. Since we already have all the information here, we just focus on this diagram. Since it's a right angle triangle and the angles are given, we can use the trigonometric ratios to help us. Uh, before that, it's better if we label the name of the sides. Okay, so this side here, opposite the right angle triangle, is hypotenuse. And this side here is adjacent to this angle, the reference angle, so we have adjacent side. So this side here will be opposite side. But the opposite side, no values are given, so we just ignore this. We only look at the sites where the information are given and the sites that we are looking for. So now we look at sine, cosine, and tangent. Which one of these involve hypotenuse and adjacent side? So we can use cosine. Okay, so we don't need sine and tangent. For cosine x, x is the is the angles given, which is 60 degrees. Adjacent side will be here, 10 meters, and hypotenuse is the distance, which is d. So we can rewrite this as cosine 60. Cosine 60 equals to adjacent 10 over hypotenuse d. So d move to the right hand side. We have d times cosine 60 equals to 10. And then the cosine 60, we move the left because we were uh, looking for d only. So you key in this in your calculator 10 over cosine 60, you get 20, which is 20 meters. Hence the distance between the person's eye and the tip of the flag post here, the distance here is. 20 meters. We go to the last example here. Diagram shows a cuboid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, B, C, D, F, G, H. If a right angle triangle H, G, G, C is formed, okay, so H is here, G is here, the vertices, and C is here. So if a right angle triangle is formed here, which is uh, shown by this uh, pink triangle, so if we form a right angle triangle here, find the value of G. H, the angle of G, H, C. G is here, H is here, C, so G, so H is in the middle, hence the angles is here, is at H. This angle which uh, have been colored red. Okay, so this angle is the angles we are looking for, given the length of these sides. For this diagram, we, if we redraw the pink triangle, 
GHC here, we can redraw it like this, okay, where GHC is a right angle triangle. Okay, because it's, this is a cuboid, so this side and this side forms a right angle. Okay, so this is the angle we are looking for. So HG here, HG has the same length as EF because it's a cuboid. Yeah, so since EF is 4, HG is also 4. However, we don't have information for GC, the diagonals, and also HC. We don't have information for, for this and this. So if we if we can find one of the information, either hypotenuse or GC, we can use sine, cosine, and tangent, one of these trigonometric ratios, to help us to find the angles. Okay, so we need one more information, which is GC, the length of this side. So in order to find GC, okay, we look at this diagram again. GC is here. Okay, so Actually, GC is involved in another triangle, which is colored green. Okay, so this is another triangle, B, C, and G. So if we redraw this here, you see that BG is here, BG, GC, GC, and BC. I redraw this again here, and you'll find that because this is a cuboid, BG, BG and BC forms a right angle triangle. Okay. And BG has the same length as CF, which is 3. And BC is given as 10. So you have a right angle triangle. You have these two sides. If we use the Pythagoras theorem, we can find GC. If we can find GC, we know the value of GC here because these two are the same. And if you have GC together with HG, we can use trigonometric ratios to find h okay so we look at this diagram here we try to use try pythagoras theorem cg which is this gc or cg is the hypotenuse squared of this hypotenuse equals to bg squared plus bc squared so i fill in the values bg is 3 bc is 10 find this value i get 9 plus 100 i get 109 and to find CG or GC, it is equals to the square root of 109. So now we have the value of CG, even though we haven't settled this part, we, we just stop here for the moment. So we considered, so this is the length of CG, this line. Then we come back to this diagram again. Since we already find that GC here is square root of 109, means the GC here is also square root of 109. So since we are looking for the angles of a right angle triangle, we use the trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. And since we are using one of these, we need to know the name of the sides. Okay, this side is opposite to the angle, so this is the opposite side. And this side will be the adjacent side. Since we have the values of these two sides, hence we pick the trigonometric ratios which has adjacent side and opposite side, which is adjacent side and opposite side which is the tangent so we leave out sine and cosine we just use tangent tangent x x is the angle we are looking for so we write tangent to so the angles of ghc equals to the opposite side over adjacent side opposite side have the values of square root of 109 adjacent is 4. remember earlier in this video we learned that if you are given a value we can find the angles by using the inverse of tangent the inverse tangent of this so you key in the calculator uh, this part you will get the final answer where the angles of ghc equals to 69.04 degrees that is the final answer so this is the end of this uh, video i'll see you soon thank you